This is a statewide and a nationwide movement. In Florida, seven colleges have already unionized. Pay is a big issue. Poverty wages, but also the job insecurity. So not knowing semester, even to semester, if you're going to have a position, adjuncts do not have any kind of health benefit. We actually did a survey. Very few have health care. 50% of faculty had never taught online. Many reported not having the appropriate uh, equipment. Certainly a lot of uncompensated extra labor. I know myself, I was spending 30, 40 hours a week on one class. They tell us we are respected and valued, but how you pay people, how you treat them indicates that respect and we do not feel it. We did file in 2018 and since then Valencia has continued to fight the process and using our taxpayer money to pay very expensive uh, attorneys to fight us. They would say, uh, we don't want a third party coming in here and telling us how to do things. Uh, as all union movements are, it comes from within, it is not from without. We are it. And they just keep stonewalling, but we have way more interest than it is needed with the state. And we expect a good ruling once PERC and the state government gets operating again. By the way, with the CARES Act, Valencia got $26.7 million. We have campus presidents all making over six figures. There is something wrong with this picture. This corporate model has taken advantage of that mission-driven type of person who goes into education. We love what we do. We love working with young people and we would like them to know that their uh, faculty members are considered basically second-class citizens. Adjunct working conditions are student learning conditions. This is a grassroots effort and faculty are the union and we would appreciate uh, student support for sure.